Question five, vectors. Uh, we've got a diagram here with, with two vectors A and B. Um, and we're given, all we're given is the lengths of A and B. We're not told anything else about them. And we're told that they're scalar products. Notice here, A dot B equals six. So this is, this is all that we're told. Find the angle AOB. Well, this is about using that scalar product thing. We know that um, A dot B is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between them. So if we rearrange that statement, cos theta is A dot B divided by that. Really, this question for these two marks is asking you to do very little other than just recognise that we know this formula and we can rearrange it. <coughs> a dot B is given as being 6. <coughs> the magnitude of A is 3. The magnitude of B is 4. 6 divided by 12 is a tricky thing to work out. It's often equal to a half. So we've got... <laughs> Well done, Josh. So we've got the <laughs> cost yeah. of is a half. Um, they, it didn't specify how they wanted the angle presented, so we can give it in degrees or in radians. That's uh, inverse cos of a half is pi by 3. Okay, so we could write that as being 60 degrees if we wanted to. And that's two marks for that. Now, now it wants to know the length of A minus B. Well, we just talked about the fact that if we go out to our diagram, the line that joins the ends of these two points, that line there, well, to get from B to A, you would go minus B plus A. So that vector there, from B to A, is the vector A minus B. It doesn't matter which way we mark it on there, because actually we're interested in the length of this. We know that the length of this side is 3, the length of this side is 4, the length, we need to find the length of that side, and we also know that that angle is pi by 3. It's all about the diagram, isn't it? What's, what's that suggesting to us? A squared plus B squared. A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Minus 2BC plus A. Okay, good, good recovery. Because it, it's not suggesting that this is a right angle triangle in which we can use Pythagoras theorem. But it is suggesting that if we know an angle and the two sides adjacent to it, and we want to know the other side, then that's the cosine rule. This is just about using the cosine rule. And so, the length of A minus B uh, can, we, can we go straight to the formula of this if we rearrange oh it's not much of a rearrangement is it? the cosine rule would be the square root of A squared plus B squared which is 3 squared plus 4 squared two sides adjacent to the angle, minus twice B C times cos the angle. And it's, it's quite interesting how little of this calculator you, uh, little of this paper you really need a calculator for, isn't it? Because this again we've got three squared plus four squared would be twenty-five. Um, and we're taking away 12 from that. So we've got root 13. And that's it. There we go. All done. And that's maths.